Take a look here at the Ryzen tournament rules. Three five minute rounds, unless, remember, rounds one and two are guaranteed. If the judges do not render a decision, it will go to a third round. And all, anything that happened before that, ladies and gentlemen, you do not count it. They will only score what happens in the final round if it needs to get there. Let's take a look now, Joe Warren, at the strategies here. Here we go, open weight tournament uh, quarterfinals. This is why we're sitting here today. Very excited. These are going to be some fireworks. So again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us around the world here at the Saitama Super Arena in Saitama, Japan. My name is Joe Furrow, joined alongside the baddest man on the planet, Joe Ward, having a wonderful time here calling these boats. I've been looking forward to this fight. I want to see, I, I was kind of looking to see how Fader's other teammate did here. You know, he seems to be moving better. He's a little bouncy, a little flowing, a little better on his feet, bouncing on his toes. They haven't really connected yet. Oh, and a good shot. A good left there landed by Moldowski. Moldowski's moving real well. He's on his toes. Looking for the range. Bayora with the double jab there, pushing his opponent back. Bayora's keeping his back to that center of the cage real well. I mean ring, I'm sorry. Oh, and there you see there Moldowski circling that right hand. Oh, and lands there in a nice hook. He throws the right, steps off, and then throws that left hook. And he's already cut. We see a cut here over the left side of Simon Bayor. Damage. Again, circling that right hand, trying to get Simon's eyes to look over there. You've seen the confidence. Oh, what a punch thrown there by Moldowski. He's picking up the pace, Joe. He has basically switched gears. Picks up the leg, takes him down to the ground. We see Bayor is bleeding big time now on the left side of his face. Two minutes gone in the first round here. Moldowski stalking his Polish opponent, trying to get past those legs. Moldowski doing a very good job in this fight. Very smart. You can tell his... He, he looks a little bit more like he's a veteran out there right now. He's picking him apart. He's choosing what he wants to do. Look at this. He's doubling up his jab. Oh, and you can see here, Bayor is hurt. He is slowed down a little bit here. He is backing up. He's not using his footwork as much. Probably just still trying to get some of his wits back, Joe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Does throw that overhand power to Bayor. Oh, these guys are starting to throw here. Moldowski smart, doesn't want any part of this. Circles out, and he gets a takedown. Moldowski, great takedown. Little lateral drop, double leg. In good position, this is where he saw his teammate win with those overhand rights. Finished a man from the guard. Two minutes to go in the opening round here of the Psy Games presents Rise and Fighting World Grand Prix 2016. The open weight tournament quarterfinals are underway. Valentin Moldovsky representing Russia and Team Fedor on top of Simon Bayor from Poland right now. Setting up position, looking to get some ground and pound just like his opponent or just like his teammate earlier on this evening. Bayor is trying to control those wrists, trying to get his hips out so he can go to a submission. But Moldowski's hips are so strong, he's in there, he's pushing him now up, up, out of that ring, underneath the ring. It looked like the overhand right's coming. 
Facing up there, keeping his hips square with his opponent is Moldovsky. And right now, if he wants to try and jump through that guard, he can actually do that. As from the different cast, as you can see here, the Mayor's legs are wide open there. Now he's out. Mandowski's team, uh, well, yeah, their, their team, the Fedor team, is just so good in that guard. You know, throwing those overhand rights. I mean, that's right out of the playbook. Back on our feet again, movement. Look for that right hand again. Oh, now he lands a left. Moldowski just picking apart Simon Bayor. Moldowski's moving well. The one good thing I like about Moldowski, Joe, is that when he throws a right, you know there's a left hook coming. Yeah. Moldowski's found oh, it, finding a, a home for there. that right hand on his chin. That, le that, that lead left hook is landing. Bayor closing the distance, throwing some knees. 15 seconds to go in this opening round. Moldowski turns him around, puts him in a corner. That double underhooks. There we have it. Opening round in the books here. Obviously, on my unofficial scorecard, Joel, Valentin Moldowski. Your thoughts? Yes, I think Moldowski, uh, he just, Valentin moved better. You know, I believe that he looked a little lighter on his feet. He was finding a home for his right hand. He was finding a home for that left hook. Um, right here, we just saw a little double leg in, uh, lateral drop to his back. You know, then we saw the overhand right. We saw double legs. Oh, that was close. Boom, <laughs> there's the left. Rocks him, sends him back. He's finding a home for those punches. What are you telling Simon Bayor if you're in his corner right now? I'm telling Simon Bayor to keep the pressure forward. The best he's been doing is when he pushes him against the ring. When he stays at the distance in the middle, he's doing a good job of keeping his back to the center, but he's eating every punch that gets thrown at him. And if you're Moldovsky's corner, Moldowski's trying, oh, geez, I'm going to tell him to keep that pace up. I'm going to keep to tell him to stay overconfident. Make sure that he keeps throwing those hands. They're finding a home. And, you know, once he gets to the ground, that he's focused on landing power shots. Round two, about to get underway here. Simon Mayor representing Poland. Valentin Moldowski representing Team Fedor in Russia. Here we go. You got a swell over... Simon's eye, look at that. Looks like Moldovsky's having fun out there, circling around, just doing what he needs to do. Oh, and a nice left hook, throw sweat all the way around. The referee had to duck out of the way there. Yeah, yeah you know, Moldovsky, level change, overhand, right, left hook. That's what he's landed. Double underhooks into a trip. These are Greco positions, these are Russian positions. Now he can go ahead and arm choke, or he can work. 25 seconds to get that takedown. He's in a dominant position now on the ground. Look for knees, look for just these punches to come through here. Yep. Keep his hands locked. Moldowski needs to keep his hands locked, pop his hips and bring Simon back to his face on the ground. moldowski has got to be careful, make sure he's protecting that right hand because as you can see here, Mayor is trying to get that submission, trying to get that Kimura. This is why you don't unlock your hands. He's doing a good job, he needs to get his head back into the inside. He's still in trouble. Plenty of time there, if he can roll that wrist, Moldowski will be in big trouble. Oh. We can hear him yelling. You, you need to hook your legs there if you're on top. Moldowski needs to... Here comes the sweep, Joe. Here comes the sweep. No, he needs to go to half guard. Oh, he's able to punch. Good out. job. Great job by Moldowski there. Great job, I'm telling you. That was, that was staying very smart. We talked about un not unlocking his hands. He unlocks his hand, Moldowski. He almost gets submitted by Simon. I'm saying he's in good pos positions now. Head and arm choke, what we he's talked about. He's looking for that head and arm choke now. He's hiding that head. And this is what we talked about earlier. And he's a posture and land some power. And now he's going back to submission again. He needs to keep his head in uh, at the center line. He's dropping his head to the right or left, so it's, it's uh, underneath armpits, and that's why he's getting caught in those trucks. Well, the most important thing for Moldowski, like you said, is he's got to keep his hips centered. Make sure his head doesn't move off that center line, because when he does is when it's very dangerous. That's when limbs are exposed. And, and this is uh, Jiu-Jitsu 101. Do not put your hands on the mat. If you post your hands on the mat is where you can set up for a submission. You know, this is just being tired here. 
or inexperience. One of the two. We are midway through the second round. Will we see a third round? I don't think we're going to see a uh, third round, Joe. Moldowski doing what he needs to do to emerge victorious. He needs to fight his head back inside on that center line we talked about. You can't make the argument, though, and I know there's people out there that will say yay and or nay, but Simon Bayor, with that submission attempt, did more in this fight to try and finish it. Yeah, I guess so, but it was just an or attempt. This round, it me. just was an attempt. It wasn't even close to a finish. You know, he didn't sweep him, and he wasn't in a su submission position. He just had his hands locked. As we see here... Well, and, and then we're talking strategy again here, yes. Joe. We're talking, um, you know, the Russian sitting here, he's saying, I'm winning from this position. I stay in this position with good hip pressure. I win this fight. There will be no third round and move me for, move me into this, you know, out of the quarterfinals into the semifinals. Just playing a bit of strategy here, not overexerting, simply saying, you know what, I'm in a dominant position, like you said. Just keep working away here, chipping away. Everything will be fine. Yep, yep. He's at got one minute and 20 seconds, and he's going to be moving forward in this tournament. What does Simon Bayor need to do right now to ensure A, a third round, or B, a finish of his opponent? He probably needs his corner to jump in and help him, because I don't think there's any chance right now. Oh, he's hunting for submission, Simon. He's looking at everything he can do. You can see him go for those up kicks. Now he, gets, he got his guard pass. Now he's in side, side guard. He's in terrible position. There's 45 seconds left. And he's incurred some massive damage. If you look at that left eye, it is swelling up crazy over that eyebrow. And it is, the, the Russian, he didn't even go for the north-south north, and ch north south choke right there. He knew. He was waiting, holding it, saving his energy. Look at that knot on that eye. He has the opportunity to go for an armbar or choke here, but he is going to ride this out here. He's got 20 seconds, 20 seconds potentially for Valentin Moldovsky to move on to the semifinals, which will take place two days from now. Same arena. Punches under the armpit. Oh, that one rocked Simon Bayor. Modalski did a great job in the, third, in the second round here. Control position won this fight with control. Didn't get hurt. Didn't waste energy. Looks a little tired, though. There is a some massive, oh, look massive at that. swelling here. Let's take a look at some of the action from the fight here. There you have the right punch and the takedown landed by Valentin Moldovsky. Yeah, double unders. Bring him to his back. Control position, side mount. Right here we talked about him bringing his head back into that center. He was in danger here. Him going to that side, you know, the half to half is what saved him. Defending the Kimura attempt from the bottom by Sambayor Moldowski does emerge victorious. If he was able to perhaps turn that wrist over, would have been a different story, but a great job by Moldowski to defend it. And then he got on top towards the end of the round and he landed some monstrous yep. punches there, some ground and pound. You want to talk about scoring some damage? Take a look at Simon Bayor's eye. Yeah, did a great job on top, controlling position and landing punches. Let's hear what the judges have to say. Will somebody be moving on right now, or will we see a third round? I doubt it, but the judges will determine right now if Valentin Moldovsky or Simon Bayor moves on to the semifinals. Moldovsky wins this. Judge Takamoto. Moldovsky. Judge Koike, Moldovsky. Judge Inuda, Moldovsky. Your attention, sir. Here we go, all over. Valentin Moldovsky! Son. An excellent job there by Valentin Moldovsky. This guy continues to prove why he is undefeated and why he is going to be a threat for anybody in this tournament. He moves on to the semifinals, which will take place within two days here at the Saitama Super Arena. This guy is a force to be reckoned with, and let's be honest, do we really believe he gave a total of 100% in that fight there? I think he was very strategic and still did all kinds of damage to Simon Bayor.